Hello. Yo guys, welcome to another video. We are very busy in the shop. Frank is now removing his engine. Like I told you guys in the previous video, we're going to remove the VR6 engine, also the TDI from the Corrado to both rebuild, <coughs> rebuild those engines. Uh, Bernard is also in the shop, the owner of the Mark 1 VR6 and his wife is busy with some isolation material on the inside. So yeah, also the interior can be installed inside the Mark 1. So yeah guys, very, very productive uh, with a lot of people. <laughs> yeah Frank? Yeah. What's the deadline on the VR6 turbo? What? Neat. What me? Deadline. Oh, no deadline. <laughs> That's nice, guys, because the deadlines, our deadlines are almost impossible, always. So, the VR6 engine is good as good as removed. Uh, now we're going to start on the Corrado. I think it's a little bit difficult because of all the damaged uh, panels. But we will see. Um, also, Dennis came by. Um, the buyer from the R32 engine, he took the engine with him today and Bernard is busy with the GTI interior, complete cleaning the seats. So yeah guys, yeah, very, very busy here. Also a meal, I almost forgot a meal. Hello. <laughs> yeah man. So while... Emil and Frank are busy with the Mark 3. I'm going to start on the Corrado. And guys, look at those wheels. The tires are... <laughs> Holy shit. Also the other side. And the underneath. Underneath the car, you, you see all the rubber. Holy fuck, guys. For sure, this summer, with the white Corrado for motion, we need to do a four-wheel burnout in Portugal, man, for sure. At Braga or Pista de Gil Real, something like that. It's going to be crazy this summer, man. But to be there, of course, we really need to start on rebuilding those engines. So let's first take them out and we'll be right back, guys. Let's go. engines and we have big plans for it guys so we took the TDI engine from the Corrado and we took the VR6 supercharger from the Mark III um, so the TDI engine I'm going to rebuild the engine but I don't think I'm going to start with it immediately uh, I really thought it over what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the engine from the stand put the flywheel the clutch kit and the gearbox back and I will mount it directly into the white Corrado because it's a straight fit how it is right now also the exhaust that I have with this with this engine is a straight fit on the white Corrado and I think that way I can go to the RDW to homologate the engine swap the TDI on the papers and go for the technical inspection here in the Netherlands. If a car is older than 30 years old, you will get a technical inspection that it's like valid for two years. And after that's done, because it will be easy, because the car is in roadworthy condition. Um, I think I'm going to take the engine afterwards from the white Corrado, do the complete rebuild, going to send some parts like the cylinder head and everything to Vaycomer in Portugal for bigger valves 
Uh, I will do bigger upgrades like pistons, uh, bigger turbo, bigger injectors. Yeah, guys, you guys are going to see. And of course, we will do the six speed conversion to four speed sequential dog box and the four motion. So I think it's much easier to homologate it first and afterwards do the complete rebuild of the engine and the car, guys, because I think I'm going to drive that car with a, with a hood pipe and everything. It's going to be real raced out. So yeah, that's the plan that I have with the TDI engine. And I'm very proud about this engine. I built it two years ago. I really abused it. And it's still running fine, guys. Even the turbo with all the flames and everything, it's still in good condition. So yeah, man. It's a real, real soldier. <laughs> the VR6 Supercharger, also a complete rebuild. Uh, comrades, comrade bearings, uh, original pistons, but with new piston rings. The cylinder head is already ported. And we will mount uh, HX35 whole set turbo. It's going to produce, I think, around five six hundred horsepower and the mark 3 will get a complete wide body front end to fit some serious wide slicks guys so these two are going to be some serious projects i still have the 2.9 engine here that came up from the purple mark 3 that's on the attic i'm still thinking about using this engine for the VR6 Corrado on the attic and put a 24 valve in the purple Cor in the purple Golf, but yeah, this is not going to be like for this month or next month. I think for this summer or something. And here we have the 1.8 turbo. Uh, also, an upcoming project for my friend Joey Passat 35i complete rebuild of the engine. Uh, forced internals and around four or five hundred horsepower so guys big plans man big plans i'm now busy with the with the mark one sorry guys i'm busy with the mark one and it's already running a lot better guys let me start it real quick Ooh. And we also mounted some new wheels. Yeah, listen to this fear sick sound, man. I really love the 12 valve fear sick sound. Um, all the wiring is already done. I'm now busy with the last wiring loom. It's underneath the dashboard. And we also mounted the black trims, um, carpet, isolation, and the rear seat. So yeah, guys, we are very busy here in the shop. Um, I'm going to make a separate video about the Mark I and the progress on it. So yeah, guys, I thought it would be nice to show you guys this video to give you guys a little, um, yeah, show you guys the process of the projects that are going on and our upcoming project, guys. So again, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Feel free to subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet. Spam that like button. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Ciao.